Hello, my name is Tom Hayes, Director of Customer and Community Relations for New Jersey Natural Gas Company, and I'm here as your host for uh, Community Connections, this wonderful program that SCAN presents. Uh, this is an opportunity where we really highlight some of the organizations out there in our community that are helping all of us uh, to in improve our quality of life. Uh, today I'm very fortunate to have with us uh, Joanne Padrone, who is the Director of Resource Development at Ocean County College. Uh, welcome. I appreciate your being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I know Ocean County College, you guys do a great job in Ocean County and all that, so it's really an honor to have you here with us today. Um, so I'm going to ask you a couple things. So first of all, what is your role at Ocean County College? My role is I oversee the Academy for Lifelong Learning, which I will hopefully get to tell everyone a lot about. Mm -hmm. I oversee the alumni program, and I also work with grants and run a lot of our different events at the college. So I wear many hats, and everybody at the college does that. We all help each other, and we work as a team. It's just great. And I know you're out there in, com in the community because I know we serve on a board together and yes, all that. Yes, we do. So, so again, your involvement out in the community as, as your, your, both yourself and the organization is, is really, really well received and, and very important. So tell us about the Academy for Lifelong Learning. Well, we are very proud of the Academy for Lifelong Learning. I don't know if you're aware of the fact that Ocean County College has one of the largest group of seniors mm -hmm in the whole country. I think we are second in the country to seniors. So we feel, and Dr. Larson's mission, he felt that it was very important to reach out to that community of senior people and develop program programming and things that they might like to draw them to our campus. Oh, that's great. So we have many, many programs. The first thing that is very important is we have our Academy for Lifelong Learning, and people can join the Academy, and it's free. And once you join, you're a member for life, mm -hmm. and with it comes many perks. And included are, in the perks are you can swim in our heated swimming pool. It's an Olympic-sized swimming pool where you can do laps, and that is free. Mm. And many communities do not have heated swimming pools, and we that is one of our main features. People call me all the time about that. So many people join for that. Many people join because they get discounts at our theater, at our planetarium, yes. and that is a great opportunity. The other opportunity is they receive, when they join, a membership card, and it looks like this. And with membership, they can show their membership cards at many different organizations within the community where they get discounts and perks. So they might go to a restaurant and get a significant discount. They can do some traveling and use this. It's local, state, and nationwide. And one of the things that I'm so glad to be on SCAN is to tell people that the Academy is just not limited to Ocean County. So people from Monmouth County, we have people all over who take the opportunity to join the Academy and then they also will get our newsletter and that gives them a lot of different information about events going on. Wonderful. And tell me again, is there an age restriction? Is 55. 55 and older. Yeah, That's some great. people I have to say, you have to wait. You just can't join yeah, yet. Yeah, and, yeah, you yeah. know, they can't wait till they can join. So yeah. that's a good thing, yes. And so they get to use the pool for free? Absolutely. They get to use oh, the pool. That's wonderful. That's and really it's a great. very big perk because, as you know, that's one of the best exercises you can get. Right, right. And those pools are, are few and far between. You know, it's a I know, I know a lot of pool. organizations are always looking for a pool. And yes, it's, it's, yes, and that is for our our academy members. That is that is really something else, and the uh, planetarium and all that. I mean, it's just great resources that the you have. The planetarium, at Ocean if anyone who has not been there, it is a super place to go to bring your grandchildren or just to go for the afternoon. And we have many shows throughout the week. And if you go to our website, you can see all the different show, show times. They have shows just regarding the evening sky where you can sit in the dome and you can feel like you're looking at the sky. And someone will tell you what at exactly you're looking at. Mm. And then we have shows for young children that are really a lot of fun. We have birthday parties. And we also have laser light shows, which are very popular now. Mm. So we have shows for all ages. That's great. Great. That's really great. And you mentioned Dr. Larson, your, your 
president. Yes, right? and yes. He, he's a wonderful man. He's I know. a wonderful I, man. He's, he's really been an asset. To, he to has the, spearheaded to so many wonderful things at the college. If people were to come to the college now, they would see a huge gateway building because of our partnership with Kane. So people now can go to Ocean County College, continue their education at Kane, get their bachelor's, and also even go on to get some doctorate degrees. So it is a beautiful place to visit. We have so many buildings going up, mm -hmm. and I invite people, call me, I'll give you a personal tour. It's nice. that important to us that people come out and see us. So we hope through membership and coming to some of our programs and events, it'll encourage people to visit the campus. That's great. And I think you alluded to this also, but you don't have to be a, a resident of Ocean County no, to become no. a member of the Lifelong No, you do County. not have to be a member. Okay. We have many events that many people come to throughout the county and throughout the state. I think next year we're looking on doing a huge jazz festival mm. and we're hoping to draw many people from Tri-State to the to the jazz festival in addition to many people come from Monmouth County to some of our great performances that we have at our uh, theater mm -hmm. and people can call also and get that information with we have just fabulous programming. Great and so that's are those some of the main events for your members? The main event that we do for the Academy is every March we hold a Senior Expo. Okay. And with our Senior Expo, we have many local vendors who mm -hmm. come out and they bring lots of gifts and giveaways and we try to make all of the information for the seniors and the seniors flock out. We also, one of the things we have that makes our events special is we have local food vendors come out and all of the seniors can have lots of goodies and everything is free. I reach out to many local organizations and they give us sponsorship so we can run it and it is a huge success. Mm. The other event that we do that's very popular is our Senior Art Expo and that uh, seniors, they must be 60, donate their art, donate um, a piece of art to be shown in the gallery and there's 11 categories of art and the first place winners go on to the state show and I'm very proud to say that we have had many, many winners at the state show mm. and the artwork that our seniors do is phenomenal that's and amazing. I invite everyone to come out Isn't when we great? have it. Yes, it that's is. That's excellent. It is. Sounds like a lot of fun. It's a fun job, yes. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but there are some, of, there are perks course. to it, yes. Yeah, that's true. Now, tell us about the alumni. Okay, the alumni, well, one thing I, I forgot to mention that's really important, that this year is Ocean County College's 50th anniversary. Mm-hmm. And we are trying to get all of our alumni to gather all of their names because in the beginning we did not have computer systems, we did not have record keeping like we do now and we have many alumni who have slipped through the cracks mm -hmm. and we are trying to get their names so we can have them, bring them back, invite them to the campus. So I do have and alumni, I'm trying to reach out, people can call and get get back on the mailing list. A lot of women have married, have new names, people right. have moved, sure. and it's very hard to keep track of that. Mm -hmm. When people are an alumni, they get a, a wonderful publication that we put out twice a year, and we'll be putting out our 50th ce celebration anniversary edition, which is gonna be chock full of information. That's exciting. But it goes out twice a year with all the things happening. So all of our alumni get that, and that too is free of charge. That's great. And you know, when you talked about the expo, the senior expo before, mm -hmm. I know the gas company is always at that every year. Yes, you <laughs> are. Thank you, a sponsor yep. of that. And great, we really look forward expo. to that. I wanted to thank you personally for your sponsorship to that. Uh, well, I'm just, I just want to let you know we thank you because oh, it is a wonderful you. program to be involved with. Mm -hmm. And we do reach a lot of our seniors. We as a company have a lot of senior programs. Absolutely. So it's, it's nice to have an organization that, just like SCAN, that is out there, you know, really trying to help those folks that are, that are you know, 50 plus, 55 right. plus, all that. So. And I think we are, I mean, I've been working at the college before that I was involved in the hospital. I know many of the resources out in the community. So if somebody does not 
exactly know where to go, hopefully I can steer them in the right direction. This is great. And again, there's so many connections that uh, programs that you do that, that really go hand in hand with what we do here at SCAN. Yes. And SCAN members are from both Monmouth and Ocean County. Yes. So, yes. so I think there's really an opportunity to do even more as we go forward. Absolutely. I know we were talking about doing some programs or you know that we're looking to do at Boscov's that maybe that you guys have been looking to get in there too and whatever we can I know we were looking at that, that also so I hope that we can work together yeah, because a, they're a great organization. I it's know we company. need different locations sometimes if people can go to Boscov's and they can shop and, and attend a workshop. What what greater thing Perfect. is that to spend the it's afternoon. A, right, it's a win-win for it's everybody. It's a win-win, exactly. It's really nice. Exactly. So, so that, that's really good. Now also maybe you can tell us about some other events going on at the college. Well, there there is constant activity. Yes. Constant activity. We host many programs. The theater is a phenomenal. We have community theater. Every week we have a jazz, every week we have midday jazz, and mm. that is very, very popular. And we just received a very generous donation from the Grunning family. Oh, and they are going to be helping to support the arts because they feel their passion is to support the arts. They're a great family. And I, I happen to know Jeremy. Jeremy, uh, from, yes. From being involved in the community. Yes. He's a great, great guy. And he's very, they are a very generous family. So it's very nice. we just received that award. And I know the Grunning family from the Tourism Council that I attend, they also donate a huge, a huge piece of art mm -hmm. that's going to welcome people into Ocean County. Right. So right. that should be up shortly. So, you know, Exciting. there's a lot of ties that Ocean County has with community members that make us grow and prosper. And, mm -hmm. you know, we thank our freeholders. I mean, we have Maybe a lot of could. backing that make us so strong. It's a great county, and, yes. and you do have some very good, strong leadership. We absolutely. Absolutely do. Which is very, very solid. Now, if folks wanted to get, a, to get a hold of you, can you give us some of your contact information? Absolutely. I welcome people to call me personally because I, I don't really like switchboards and numbers. And right. So I am always there. Um, if not, I have voicemail. I will try to get back to it. My number is 732-255-0400, extension 2 2065. And the other opportunity for people who have um, a computer, if they go into our website, www.ocean.edu, it's very simple. You come to the main page, you scroll down to seniors, or you can scroll down to alumni or theater, and it'll guide you to everything you know. Everything is there that you need. Great. That's great. Well, it's important that people know how to get in contact with you since right. you do so, so many wonderful right. programs. I mean, some uh, some seniors are not do not have computers. I have found that. But many of our younger seniors are getting more savvy with the mm -hmm. computer. But there still are some people that are a little bit afraid of it, and we try to help them overcome their fears. But we also offer the personal touch for them. That's great. Well, again, I really want to thank you for taking oh, your time out you. to, to spend the, the time with us for this Community Connections program. Uh, again, Ocean County College has so much to offer, and you in particular have such wonderful programs thank you. that are really helpful to, to both our clients here at, at SCAN as well as the community at large. So it's great. And again, knowing, you know, from what I know from being involved in the community, that you guys are always there. You always have representatives there. Uh, you, Dave Wolf, I see all the time, and, and many others. So. Uh, keep up the good work. I appreciate oh, your you. being here. And um, now we're going to take a break and uh, hear from, uh, have a very important commercial. Thank you. Now's a great time to make your home more energy efficient, and the New Jersey Natural Gas Save Green Project is here to help. Take advantage of rebates and incentives up to $15,000 designed to make your whole house more comfortable, improve performance, and save you money. Upgrade your older inefficient heating equipment, central air conditioning system, and water heater with money-saving high-efficiency equipment. But don't stop there. Your new equipment will have to work harder, wasting energy dollars if your home is not properly weatherized by reducing air and duct leaks and installing proper insulation. Call the Save Green Project at 877-455-NJNG or visit SaveGreenProject.com and we'll help you get on the road to maximum energy efficiency and savings and explain how you may qualify for up to $15,000 in rebates and incentives. Call Save Green at 
455 nj ng Welcome back. Again, I'm Tom Hayes, Director of Customer and Community Relations for New Jersey Natural Gas Company and your host for Community Connections. And for our second segment, I'm very happy to have with us uh, Katie Calabrese, who is the Administrator of Community Programs and Director of Kids Camps at Ocean County College. So, Katie, thank you for being here with us today. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. So it sounds like uh, you have some a wonderful title there. So I'm, I'm very interested in to hear about all the all the programs that you're involved with. Yes. So, so what is your actual role at uh, Ocean County College? Well, based on my title, it's a dual role. Um, I take care of a lot of the um, administrative and programming within the continuing and education department at Ocean County College, as well as I'm the director of kids camps. So two completely worlds, two different worlds, all fall within the same department. Um, continuing and professional ed is a non-credit department of anything from business to technology to health care to enrichment. Um, and then we have the kids uh, camp segment that's getting ready to get started. Mm, that's great. Well, we're all kids anyway, right? <laughs> that's pretty good. Now, what kind of programs are offered through your department? Well, first, with the, uh, on the kids' side of it, we're ages from 5 to 17. We have about 300 um, various kids' camp programs. And that can be anything from uh, building and engineering camps to computer camp, um, just fun, summer fun, all-day camp. We have a lot in our computers this year, uh, we, a lot with computer programming and creating your own app. We actually have, you know, ages of like 5, 6, and 7-year-olds creating their own video games. Wow. Um, making their own um, apps for their smartphones or their parents' phones, you know, a lot of different ways using, having kids really use their minds. Yeah. Um, and then we have the whole academic side of the kids' camps, too, that are an extension of, you know, what they do during the school year. So, again, from like four, five, six-year-olds all the way up to teen, they can do SAT prep, you know, getting ready for, you know, the fall or, or SAT time. Right. Um, or just, you know, the sciences is really big. Um, the schools... Uh, throughout the state have downsized in their resources that they've given to some in, the kit, in the schools for the children. Um, we try to offer those uh, same exact camp programs that they would have normally gotten throughout the school year, but in the summertime. Um, we have one camp that's actually completely geared around their summer reading. Mm. So a lot of children get um, summer assignments that they have to complete throughout the summer. And then they go back, they report back in September, you know, saying, you know, this is what I've completed. We have a camp for that that helps track their reading and track their assignments and make sure that they're completing everything and understanding what they're doing, asking, you know, answering questions. So the camps are, are there's so many. I mean, 300 is too many to name. Right. Um, but we have so many programs of all different ages for kids to come to campus and really um, be experienced Ocean County College and what we have to offer in our different resources. That's great. The reading program strikes a chord with me because I'm involved with a lot of different educational programs mm -hmm. and one of the concerns is what they call the summer slide, right? Where, you know, that break between, you know, school ends and when school starts. Yeah. Most kids, and I'll be included in that when I was younger, you know, you just didn't really want to be doing that kind of thing. But it's important if they keep up with their reading and, and keep yeah. up with, with a little bit of that so that they, they don't fall behind. And, those those kids that are that have vacations and go go to camps and all sorts of things have that enrichment seem to do much better than those that are just sitting around at home and maybe just watching TV or something. So <laughs> these really, camps are, are really critical and very important. They they are and they they really do. But it's what's interesting about um, these programs at OCC is is it's a tie into what they have to do, but make it fun for what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So we really, I mean, we have, a, I want to say, 57 or so um, instructors that are all uh, teachers within the school system, and they take all the fun things that they do throughout the year, whether, you know, it's activities or projects or crafts, and incorporate it into the goal of the camp. Mm -hmm. So it's, I get that feedback constantly from the parents, that it's just, it's very fun and, you know, because you don't have a principal staring at you, yeah, telling sure. you what you have to do or, you know, prepare for testing. It's more of, you know, have a good time. Let's learn something. So it's really, it's really a good time. That's great. Cause, I mean, that really goes very, very well with this, the theme here at, here at SCAN. You know, folks are coming here to learn because it's more fun. It's something mm -hmm. they want to do. And, and we, you know, it's more interesting to them. So in, in a camp sense, it's similar. 
you know, may, some of it may be things they have to learn, but you make it fun so it doesn't feel like work anymore. Right. It's enjoyable. And, right. And I think that works for any of us at any age. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm easily distracted and, you know, make something fun for me and I'm, I'm all in. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think that works at any age. So that, that's a good thing. And tell me about the, the camps. Are they all on campus, on site, or do you go off campus to do things? We have, the majority of our camps are on site. We mm -hmm. only have three camps that are um, located at their own facility, one being the Golf for Kids that's located at uh, the Eagle Ridge Golf Course, oh, nice. which is right in Ocean County. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a surf camp that obviously, you know, we'd love our pool to be, you know, have a waves in it, but they right. go to the beach for that. Excellent. Um, and they're Ocean County beaches, and every year it's a different beach, so it can be any Anywhere from you know Lavalette to Spring Lake, we even go into Monmouth County, mm -hmm. um, as we have a lot of Monmouth County residents that come and take advantage of our programs too. So um, that's off-site, and then um, but the majority of our camps are located right on campus. But we do have a few programs that take field trips to other areas. Like sure. for instance, we have a Living Shore camp. It's actually all about the Barnica Bay, mm. um, all about you know our surrounding area and the uh, conservatories that we have and the wildlife. Yes, we have a camp that goes all the way down to Brigham. Um, in Atlanta County to like really view their facility and you know what they have to offer down there and they go to the Island Beach State Park say, as well. You have to be going to Island Beach oh, State Park. Oh, they spend two days there. Yeah, so okay, the whole camp great. is every day it's a different field trip to these different um, wildlife facilities. They're just amazing. We just did our Ocean Fun Days at, at Island Beach State yes. Park a, a yes. little while ago. It's a wonderful, wonderful facility. Yes. We are so blessed in this state to have that. I know. Have that as we are blessed to have Ocean County College because you guys really do, do a great job. So now maybe tell me a little bit more about your adult programs that uh, you offer. On the other side of the department, we do fun and discovery learning for adults. Great. Um, as mentioned before, we do everything from uh, healthcare, business technology, and um, enrichment. And my focus is on the programming for the enrichment side, which can be anything from oil painting to drawing to swimming. Um, we have golf classes for adults. We have language classes for adults as well. Um, I also oversee, we have an active adult section in our mm. book, in our catalog book. And in that active adult section, there are um, physical fitness classes. There are writing classes, um, various, various things to choose from. Our book consists of probably about 700 or so programs at any given time, um, three times a year. We wow. um, refresh our programs always and update them with instructors and content. So they're, they're always interesting. They're always jam-packed with activities. Um, but the healthcare and business side, as well as all areas of uh, our catalog and our department are um, just so much anywhere from uh, customer training to uh, computer training to allied health, anything in the field of allied health. Mm -hmm. And it can be just in enhancing your career if you just want to get some training to build up your resume or start on a new path completely. Our department, you know, caters to all of that. It's just great. Yeah. It's great. It's nice to have, uh, again, Ocean County College does so much in the community and you're so supportive. And obviously what you're offering to our community is, is you know, a, how can you, you can't replace that. It's it's so critical. It's valuable. And the fact that you go above and beyond and offer additional program again for the children and for the adults, and uh, you know you have some similar similarities to Scan here, where again we we also try to reach out to the adult population and offer different programs that that can assist. And I and I. I know we have worked together in, in some cases between the organizations over the years, but I do see that there's probably room for, for more of that, um, yeah. you know, working together in yes. collaborations. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, it's really nice to hear more and more about these programs, and I'm sure our audience is, is very happy to hear about all we have to offer as well, because it's really, really important for the quality of life for, for everyone. And, you know, your kids' kids camps, of course, are great for the kids, but it's very helpful to the parents that are working. Oh, sure. That yeah. they, ha they know they can bring their, their child to some place that's really safe where they're going to learn a lot they're yes. going to be and you know it's not like a, just go sit in a corner they're going to go and actually you know really learn and enjoy themselves so the parents can go off guilt-free and and feel very confident that their, their kids are going to be well cared for right and really be learning and enjoying it you know and probably the parents are going off being very jealous because <laughs> they'd rather be at camp with the kids so <laughs> they would so that's pretty neat some so, stay. <laughs> so it must be pretty neat for you yourself to be working with both ends of the spectrum right so you have kind of everybody in there right it so. is it, it's it's very interesting because it's what's what's so interesting is I get to take my same um, feelings and thinkings that I would to organize a kid camp and put it into a, an adult program if I was an adult learner and I wanted to take this course what do I want to gain out of it what do I want to see come from it and that's yeah. really we take such personal time and care into building our programs um, 
for individuals or companies. You know, we also hand deliver programs to a company or business or clubhouse um, and, and train the entire uh, staff of people or community of people um, on anything that we offer within our catalog. Right. So it's, there's so many different facets of, you know, what we do. We really try to help, um, help people that's out there, um, again, improve their skills, um, build, start on a new path, or get started on a path. You know, some people are just, you know, on their second careers, not sure where to go, or have yet to start a career. We can help do that. And what's nice about our department, we're a one-stop center. You know, you mm -hmm. come in, you get advising, you get opinions, you talk to professional people, instructors that are out in the field and have had careers in their areas and what to do next. Right, right. That's great. Now, if somebody wanted to reach out to you, what's the best way to, to contact you? Uh, we have several ways, actually. The first way would be, obviously, over the phone is the, probably the easiest. Um, and that number is 732-255-0409. That's our department. Um, directly. Our website has a wealth of information as well. We have all of our catalogs, all of the information you need to um, get started or where to start, and that's www.ocean.edu backslash cpe.htm. Um, and that's directly to our uh, web page. And that's instructor information, student information, companies that want more information, or kids that like to um, get more information. Um, and then you can also, again, you can email, and right on our website is our, our direct email address where you can request information, request a mailing of a catalog, or just have somebody call you back and say, I need help, I need to know where to start. Right, right, that's great. And I know that the campus is uh, located off of Hooper Avenue in Tom's River. That's correct. Right? Yep. Do you have any satellite campuses or is everything contained right there? We do. We have, uh, we have a south cam uh, campus down in Manahawkin, uh, right, and that's okay. right off of Route 9 in Manahawkin, um, very close to LBI. A lot of travelers coming through to go to the beaches. They drive right by it. Um, it's a southern campus. It's a smaller campus, but it's very centrally located. So it's very close to uh, Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. That's just you know, great. Down that way. So it's nice you can offer programming there because it's not Both always places. easy for any of these counties are, are kind of large. So it's, sure. it's, some, it's sometimes not the easiest to get all the way up from, to Tom's River from that area. But that's great that you offer some programming there. Yes. And I'm sure if somebody takes some classes there and that sort of thing, if, if there's something they don't offer there, they can go up to the Tom's River campus and, and certainly get that there. And we, we have a wide uh, variety of online courses as well. If coming to campus in general it can just be a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we have over a hundred courses offered online in business training and in healthcare. So if somebody just again wanting to improve their skills or enhance what they do, they can just take an online course as well. Oh, that's great. Now, is there a, a favorite camp program of yours? Or is there something that you seem to, to really gravitate towards, or the kids seem to be most excited about? Or yeah, oh, I have to. Well, I have to say all the programs that we have are. To me, all exciting, but we have a brand new one this year. Um, two brand new ones. One is actually around uh, amusement park physics and all about how roller coasters are built and how attractions are put together. So that I'm excited to really sit in on and, and see great. what that's about. Uh, and then Minecraft this year is very popular among all children. Anybody, it's, it's a game that they're, they can play with their uh, friends in other states and other countries. It's a virtual game that's a very big deal. They're going to learn how to build that in the camp as well. Excellent. Yes. I know here at SCAN, Brain Fitness is, is an important mm -hmm. program, and um, I'm sure any of these programs that you offer, as well as SCAN and, and, and others, it's, it's all good for folks. It's all healthy and, and keeping us sharp and keeping us uh, really attuned to to what's going on in life and all that, which is great. Um, I really want to thank you personally for taking the time out to spend the time with us uh, here on Community Connections. Um, SCAN is a great organization, and you know we really appreciate our partners out there. So uh, on behalf of all of us, uh, thank you very much. We appreciate you being here, Katie. Thank you.